Hello guys and welcome to the Prophecy of Pandor faction overview. Today we will be overviewing the Dishar principalities. I'll be discussing the most notable lords, the king and the claimant as well as the elite troop trees, how to best utilize them and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So the Sharp Principalities are a hybrid between the Sarnet Sultanate and the Kurdish Khanate of the uh, native base game for the fact that they have very decent heavy cavalry as well as very decent uh, horse archers. All the Dishar units that have the uh, Gaza status have a very long time to upgrade so I just wanted to make that very clear. The Dishar Gazi Reaver, the Dishar Gazi Dervish and the Dishar Gazi Spearman have a chance to spawn with a world art. The Dishar key unit is the Dishar Gazi Stalker, which is a horse archery unit. So if you will be using the Dishar as your army, I really suggest that you use the horse archers AI provided in the mod or you will be completely wasting the potential of the Dishar units at least as far as the Shar Noble Cavalry and the Shar Gazi Stalkers are concerned. The Dishar starts the game by controlling four major towns which are Naltar, Turba, Ishkumen and Singal. The ruler of the Dishar Principalities is Kaadan Badur Khan. His unique weapon is the Heritage Daja Bow and his unique household troops are the Dishar Windrider. The claimant of the Dishar Principalities is Emir Xerxes. His household troops are the Dishar Noble Cavalry. The most notable lords of the Dishar Principalities that you should consider for your kingdom are Caliph Bahman, Bad Timur's reputation, and the Shargazi Reavers as household troops. Haji Nabi Bey, Sadistic reputation, no household troops. Caliph Hamid, Martial reputation, the Shargazi Dervishes for household troops. Kaivan Khan, Upstanding Rep, the Shargaha Archers as his household troops. Mansur Bey, Petitus Rep. Eventide Gilman as household troop, King It Bay, Cunning Rep, the Shah Rogue Noble Knights, household troop, Rafiq Bay, Good Natured Rep, no household troop, Caliph Tahir, Martial Rep, Singal and Tempetress as household troop, Feridar Khan, Undetermined Rep, and the Shah Gazi Dervishes as household troop, Kalandar Khan, Undetermined Rep, and the Shah Dust Riders as household troop. The Shah Wind Riders are the factional knighthood order of the Shah Principalities. They share the same proficiencies with the Valkyries of the Fields Reign, but they do have higher skills. They are heavy cavalry and upgrade from the Shah Noble Cavalry. They have a chance to spawn with a bow and gazy arrows, however, someone on the wiki reported that he had 30 Dishar Wind Rider and not one of them had a bow, so the chance of them getting a bow is likely very low. Or the guy was extremely unlucky. They come equipped with either a Dishar Armored Hunter or a Desert War Horse. Now I'll be talking about the common elite troops of the Dishar Principalities. First off we have Dishar Gazi Stalkers. Bros, these guys are the best common elite horse archer troop. They are best used for skirmishing around the enemy at hit and run attacks or you can let them follow you and you can just circle around the enemy if you are not using the horse archers AI. They have decent proficiencies and they are okay in melee but uh, I wouldn't advise it because these guys are best used on horseback and skirmishing around the enemy. So cons, these guys have a very long time to upgrade. Uh, which is what I said about all the Gazi status units of the Dishar. However, with these guys you will be using the Dishar Raiders before them and they are okay horse archers, so you should be fine until you get the Gazi status. And if unlucky they can come with a weak Dishar Courser, which is an unarmored horse. Overall, a very good unit, if you are gonna play as a Dishar, get a shit ton of these guys and you will have a lot of fun. Now we have the Dishar Gazi River, uh, these guys are just a bit better than the um, Sarleon Cavalry, however they are much harder to upgrade and have a lot more wages to pay. They have decent heavy armor, however they have weak shields and they have a chance to spawn with a cursor, which is not that good. Uh, and they have a chance to come with war dogs. They are okay heavy cavalry, but for the fact that they take a lot of time to upgrade and become Gazi Reavers, um, I would say instead go for the Sarleon cavalry, as uh, they are much cheaper and much easier to upgrade to the latest stage. 
Also, the Dishar Reaver without the Gazi status has a Dishar Cursor, which is a very bad horse for supposedly heavy cavalry unit. I would suggest you go for another heavy cavalry unit than these guys. And even their Dishar Armored Hunter, which is their main horse, it's not a very good horse for a heavy cavalry unit like these guys. The Dishar Gazi Marksman is the elite foot archers of the Dishar Principalities which is why I will be comparing them to the elite foot archers of the Ravenstern, which is the Ravenstern Ranger. Basically, they are a weaker version of the Ravenstern Rangers in terms of archery. They have 60 less points than the Ravenstern Rangers in terms of archery. However, they have 30 more proficiencies in melee skills than the Ravenstern Rangers. However, they have better arrows than the Ravenstern Rangers, which means they will be dealing more damage but at a slower fire rate than the Rangers. They take a much, much longer time to upgrade than the Ravenstern Rangers. Uh, they have a chance to come with extra arrows, however, it's very rare. In short, they are better than the Ravenstern Rangers, just a very tiny bit in terms of melee, and they are worse in terms of archery. Uh, however, they do share the same power draw skill. If you really want an army which is only focused on foot archers, go for the Ravenstone Rangers. However, if you want just some extra foot archers in your army, these guys are fine, they are not so bad. Just bear in mind the um, time it will take to upgrade these guys. The Dishar Gazi Spearman or the Elite Shock Troop Infantry of the Dishar Principalities. These guys are very fast, they have medium armor. They are very very good against cavalry and uh, they have a chance to spawn with darts. As their performance is similar to the southern halberdiers, um, I would suggest you use these guys in a shield wall just like any other unit uh, that is a shock troop. However, bear in mind that these guys never spawn with shields which makes them very susceptible to Ranged fire. The Dishar Gazi Dervishes are the elite heavy infantry of the Dishar Principalities. These guys have the same proficiencies as the uh, Fierce Vein Huskarl, but have worse skills. Uh, they have very bad shields, which makes them god awful for shield walls. However, the problem of these guys is that they have a lower time to upgrade than the Huskarl, and they do have a chance to come with dots. Which is very good to uh, get some kills before they actually come into a one to one combat with the enemy. Use these guys as uh, skirmishers or close combat fighters and not really as a shield wall unit. Finally, the Dishar Noble Cavalry are the uh, elite noble troop of the Dishar uh, Principalities. They are actually one of the best nobles out of all the other factions. They are basically a much better and improved version of the Yigazi Stalkers. Uh, they can come with assassin throwing knives and you should really be using these guys for hit and run attacks uh, just use them like the normal gazi stalkers however the cons of these guys is that they do have awful shields just like all the uh, dishar units really and they have a super super long time to upgrade and become the shar noble cavalry but when you get there they are decent units and the Dishar Noble Rider, which is a unit before these guys, aren't that bad, but they are still not as good as the Gazi Stalkers. In conclusion, if you wanna go for a pure Dishar Principalities army, I would suggest you gather as much as you can of the Dishar Gazi Stalkers as well as the Dishar Noble Cavalry. Probably go for 70% Horse Archers, and the rest can either be Dishar Gazi Marksmen or Dervishes, so either Infantry or Archers. That way, if you go with the uh, horse archers and archer build, your horse archers can skirmish around the enemy at a safe distance, while the Gazi marksmen can be at a vantage point away from the enemy, also skirmishing down on them at a safe distance, which is gonna reduce casualties by a very big amount. The Shard Principalities is one of the best factions in the game if used right. I pers they are personally my favorite faction, just because of how good the horse archer AI is in Prophecy of Pendor. And this will be it for the, the Sharp Principalities faction overview. I really hope you guys found this video to be helpful. This video 
a very long time for me to make because of how detailed the drop trees of the shore is. Uh, it was not very easy, so I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, uh, please hit the like button, maybe consider subscribing. Tell me which faction would you like to be overviewed next, and yeah, have a great day, guys.